The Oxfam International Youth Partnerships is a global network of young people who are actively working in their communities around the world. It started in the year 2000 with the idea of let's see what happens when we bring together amazing, dynamic young leaders from all over the world. Over the last 10 years we've worked with over a thousand young people known as Action Partners. Oh, I, why? And we're looking for people who are, first of all, resilient. So they're people who are working on issues which they've directly faced themselves or which people in their own families and communities are facing. My name is Owen Hakim, aka a Big Deal. I'm 24 years old. I live in the northern part of Uganda near Sudan. Hola, mi nombre es Jacqueline Perez Osnava. Tengo 19 años. Vivo en Huancayo, Perú. Uh, my name is Julissa. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I'm 20 years old, almost 21. My name is Denika Mari. Um, I'm from Papua New Guinea, and I'm 23 years of age. My name is Nikita. Um, I live in Mumbai. I'm Mustafa Abdulhalim. I'm from Iraq, Baghdad. I'm mostly passionate about helping disabled people. My name is Abrede Gwasom. I'm from Cameroon. The change I would like to see is justice given to the poor, to the woman, and to the child. I'm Nina Aklan. I live in Yemen and I'm 24. I'm working with the Women National Committee and basically we work on women development. So we work on a lot of gender issues um, in terms of developing women, um, empowering um, women to be more active in society, whether politically, economically. Well, I'm most passionate about children, with children in my community, their, their rights. I'm most passionate about positive social change and um, empowerment for young Indigenous Australians. I'm passionate about my community, especially bringing up change, changes in the policy processes, in the policy making of my nation, so that um, policies are made uh, for people to be able to have access to education, so that we have zero tolerance to corruption, so that we have uh, gender equality and gender equity, so that we might have a good environment. I'm 21 and um, I live in Morocco. I'm passionate about street children, uh, educational field and uh, overcoming poverty. My passion is um, educating our youth K through 12th grade where their food, water and energy sources come from. As I'm really young, people don't listen to me like this because they say, oh, this one is very small to tell us what to do or what not to do. So, this is my challenge. By living in a country, living in a remote country uh, where we have less access to the outside world, it is uh, very hard to, to get upper learning opportunities and uh, to, to, to actually uh, learn from others or share the experience with others. And uh, this is definitely one of the challenges that uh, I am facing right now. The challenges that my community face uh, al joven solo lo utilizan como objeto y no, no le dan su lugar ya que como lo dije anteriormente este, nos utilizan solo cuando los ne nos necesitan y en fin solo para que utilizarnos y, y también los otros desafíos es que hay mucha discriminación hacia la juventud. In the UK, one of the major challenges for me as a young person is actually that Within the systems that I'm trying to change, there are a lot of very established people that have been around for years and years and years, and they don't want to give up power. So it's about trying to find ways for them to let me as a young person in, but also young people as, in general into positions of power where they can develop skills and have a voice. And that's one of the major challenges because people think that because you're young, you don't have the experience or the skills or anything to contribute, whereas actually being young, you've got new ideas and new ways of doing things which help strengthen other movements, but often convincing established people that that's the case is a challenge. What we're hearing is that many young people really feel isolated. So they're often people with big dreams and big visions and they can actually make things happen, but they're often doing it in isolation. So they're often doing it against the grain 
a lot of people support what they're doing, but whether they want to really be on board with it is, is another question. The Action Partners are learning a range of things, both formally and informally. A lot of learning takes place over lunch, over dinner, over breakfast, in the hallway conversations. And then there's a formal learning, of course. That's taking place in the form of homerooms, where Action Partners are learning what happens with skills building and with um, new access to information, how that relates to their work back home. Action Partners are also learning practical skills such as project management, grant writing, monitoring evaluation, skills which they choose to learn and skills which they believe will apply to their work back home. It was a shock to me that I was selected and of course it, it's a youth program and bringing different youth from different parts of the world, different angles of the world. It's a unique program to me because I've never seen it anywhere. We want to take away... Wow, it's fantastic! Porque este ha sobrepasado mis expectativas. Es muy diferente a cualquier otro taller o evento que yo haya podido ir. Uh, es como si te dejaran ser ser tú, ser libre con tus ideales, pero eh, con tantos ideales diferentes de tantos jóvenes podemos ver que juntos podemos formar una una gran red de trabajo en, en favor de un ideal común que es el vivir mejor todos. It's all about different people from different parts of the world with different attitudes, perspectives, stereotypes, backgrounds and anything that you can think of coming together, sharing experiences, learning from each other. Kaleidoscope is an eight day long place to be inspired. came here, I thought I, I was the one who suffered because I'm under education, I don't have all my fully human rights. However, when I started talking with other people from other parts of the world, I could see the suffering too. So we all, we both suffer, we all of us, we suffer, but different type of suffering. The Kaleidoscope program has been absolutely phenomenal um, in the sense that it's given me a really, um, an outline of how to kind of create a movement. Um, before I had all these ideas on how I wanted to change the world and how I wanted to get involved in my community, but I didn't really understand how I was supposed to go about it. So Kaleidoscope's kind of given me a little bit of structure and allowed me to develop my ideas into a foundation and given me a stronger focus. This week I see that I haven't talked much I'm just listening to other action partners and I have learned a lot. What we've seen with OIP is it's had an impact over the last 10 years, both in action partners' lives individually, it's had an impact on their communities, and it's also had an impact at the national level. So we're seeing action partners have influence in policy, influencing decision makers, some action partners have even gone on to formal government positions themselves. Kaleidoscope is meaning to me a lot of different perspectives that I can now take home with me back to my community with uh, more of an understanding. I've been able to step away from my little box in Australia and see the world from a different perspective through hearing the stories of other action partners. I heard this line from Irene. She was an action partner before. She said, like, I still had a role to play. And it struck me most. Because before going here, I had a lot of problems, issues. I felt like I was giving up. But when she said that I still had a role to play, it came to my mind, the commitment. I felt like I lost the commitment. But I'm trying to foster it out now. I'm trying to get inspiration from other people. 
And now, like, I'm ready to go home. I'm really excited to go home. I'm working with the deaf people in an NGO named Muparin Mandal in Varodhra. And I train them in English language, computers, mobiles, and I create, uh, create employment opportunities for them and do fundraising for the NGO. I'm using like my writing skills in order to address issues in women's communities and also to bring out hidden stories and to uh, raise their voice in the forms of writing. Eventually, having a world where both men and women and LGBTQs, the le lesbians, gays, bisexual, transgenders, queers, and all the kinds of genders in the world are all ex exercising and enjoying their human rights. Me gustaría en mi, en mi comunidad una comunidad más, con más oportunidades, con más desarrollo, con agua, con luz, con desagüe, que tenga las oportunidades que tiene todo joven que lucha por una igualdad, que lucha por un compromiso, que lucha por un sueño. I really want to use this as OYYP as a way of uh, doing something greater. You know, I think. I feel like I have resources at my fingertips and it would be a huge loss if I didn't take advantage of it. So I think over the next few years I really aim to be engaged with the organization, to find means of engaging with other people who I've met um, over the last week. And to really, um, I, I don't have an excuse not to do anything great. And I think OYP and Kaleidoscope is a reason for that. The change I would like to see in my community as um, a corrupt free community. Um, a community that has um, laws, that has uh, policies, that has structures that allow development, especially for the youth. So one of the things that I found most useful to bring about change in my community is actually to kind of put young people in their face, to give them like real life stories and experiences of young people because when they hear what young people have got to say, they can't go, Oh, it's the same as it was 20 years ago. Motivation. Yeah, motivation and conviction is what I need to keep going.